One in the previous video, we uh, learned about how to create a custom endpoint uh, with WordPress for the REST API. Okay, and then in this video, we're just going to continue from where we left. So in the previous video, we were able to you know, uh, fetch the post IDs by accessing our custom REST API endpoint. You can see that we've got all of the IDs available. And then in this video, we're going to continue learning further and basically getting all of the post title excerpt and images, categories, etc. And once we have all of the data, we'll, we'll jump onto the front end where we will use React to display all of the posts, uh, you know, um, and do the pagination as well. Okay, awesome. Let's continue. So this is where we were earlier. So we were just returning the post data, but that's not uh, that what we want. We don't want just the ID, we want the other details. So what we're gonna do is instead of making this messy and making this code big, we just create another function and we name it as get required posts data. And this is gonna take the post IDs, IDs, okay, and then I'm just gonna call this function, oops, I think. Okay, what am I missing? What am I missing? Oops, okay, function. Okay, great. So over here, all I'm going to do is just call this function. In fact, this should be latest post IDs and not. latest posts okay and this will be this because it's a method of the class so it needs to be accessed by this okay and why is it saying like that okay I might not have used the result or not returned anything that's fine okay cool so uh, over here in this function get the required post data all we want to do is just get the title excerpt categories etc so what we're going to do is just create a variable called post result and it's going to be an empty array and we're just going to push all of the data once we get that as a result of our query okay so we're going to check if not empty oops if not empty post IDs and if it's an array Okay, in fact, let's do this. Let's do an early return for performance. So if this is empty and if it's not an array, then just return post results. Else, we'll continue further. Okay, so what do we need? We want to do a for each. So let's say for each post IDs as post ID Okay, and then what we what do we need? We need author ID, author ID, so we can do get post field. We can so it's a WordPress function that we are using post author, and then just pass the post ID. This will get me the author. Okay. Uh, the author ID basically okay and then we need the post data so post oops post data again empty array first so we can push it okay and then inside of this array I want the first item to be ID and this will be our post ID which we already have then Next up is I need the title. So I can say get the title. So we already have WordPress function called get the title again. It's going to, we're going to pass the post ID. Then we're going to need the excerpt, post data, excerpt. Get the excerpt. Yep, you guessed it right. That's the one. Post ID. 
again post data and we need the date so get the oops date and then post ID what else do we need you guys tell me yes that's right we need the image so post data I need the attachment image So we need a few things. We need different sizes because we want to show uh, different images on different screen size. So we need the image sizes first. I'll say image sizes. And we have a WordPress function called WP get attachment image sizes. This one. And it takes the post ID. So I can do not post ID but the thumbnail ID so you can get the thumbnail ID using get WordPress function which is get post thumbnail ID and you just pass the post ID and then you need the image source WP get attachment image source get post thumbnail ID post ID you can also create a variable and just you know put this detail over there uh, and then just reuse it but to save time I'm just directly calling it uh, you can put the size also so if you want full normal or in case if you've used the uh, regenerate post thumbnail plugin and you've regenerated a custom post uh, size that you want to display you can put the size as well okay your custom registered one okay and the next thing we need is the image source set so again wp get attachment image source set and this again will be the same thing we need the attachment id so we'll just get that awesome so that is done uh, the last couple of things we need is the categories and the uh, author ID and author name. So let's get those and get going. So post data. This is going to be categories. And we can get this by get the category. So it's going to give me the list of all the categories that belong to this particular post. Uh, next thing we need, which will be the last thing is the author ID and author name so this is going to be meta and again this will be an array author ID and we already have the author ID on top if you remember in fact you should just get it to make it clean okay all right and then we need the author name so we have the WordPress function called get the author meta and it takes parameters like display name which is the field and it takes us for the author ID so we put that there and that's it and then every time we have this uh, detail for each of the posts all I want to do is just push that into the post result array okay which is this one okay and I'm gonna put all of the data into this so in this way finally let's say there are nine posts or two posts so how many posts there are maximum nine uh, all of those data is going to be inside of the pushed inside of this array okay awesome so I think that's good all we have to do is just return so return post result awesome so now if we check refresh voila magic so now you can see that you've got all of the posts that are available okay so you've got all of nine of them inside of the post data 
okay and each of these have got the data that we've asked for which is your um, where is it okay we minimized it okay there it is there it is okay so we asked for ID we got the ID we asked for title there's the title excerpt here it is we asked for date do we have that date is false uh, why do we have data as false let me check so we are getting the date as false okay got it so if you check get the date it asks for the <clears throat> some parameter which is D which is optional it's a PHP date format it defaults to the date format option if not specified so we can leave that empty and let it use the default date now if we just check refresh and there you go you have got the date awesome then we ask for the image attachment size so we have the sizes available we have the source we have the source set brilliant we have got all of the category details now <clears throat> you may not want all of this so i'm not going to go too much into detail because then the video is going to be really long but again you can have another function that would basically just return uh, the things that you need so for example i might just need the id of the categories to uh, send the user to the archive page of that post where he can get all of the posts that are related to categories so you can get that you if you might need slug you might need name but you might not need everything like term taxonomy id is something that's not required you may not require uh, the parent and the count and things like that probably count might be useful so you can get what you want but I'm just letting you know that's possible but uh, within the limits of this uh, tutorial I would say that this is good enough this this will get you started okay awesome so you've got the categories it's brilliant and then you've got the meta which is the author ID and the author name that's brilliant there's one more thing that we need uh, and that would basically be how many posts are there and then you also need the page number okay so let's uh, get those as well uh, and we're going to do that in the next video so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you can also follow me on twitter my twitter handle is imran h sayyad and um, do follow me on github as well and do start my repository to support my work and you can also go to codytech.com in case if you want to learn more uh, about wordpress or react etc okay that's brilliant so i will see you in the next video take care bye bye